All right, you guys, today we're take a look how to make this really cool holographic text effect here in Illustrator. And for the font, I'm gonna go with Owners. This is a free font you can download. I'm gonna leave a link in the description and I'm gonna select the Owners XX Wide X Black. That's a long name. And from here, what you need to do is right click on it and select Create Outlines. And from here, I'm gonna go to the fill and the stroke. And as you can see, we got the black color in the fill and I'm gonna swap it. Now we got the black color and the stroke. Click on the stroke so it's gonna be on the top. And let's go and select the line tool. And I'm gonna go at the top of the text. And I'm gonna press and hold shift, drag a line like this. I'm gonna arrange it into the center. Let's go and press and hold alt, drag it down. Also press and hold shift. And now I'm gonna select both lines. Let's go to the object, blend, and select make. And as you can see, we have too many lines going on. So I'm gonna go to the blend tool here, double click on it. And here I'm going to select the specified steps, decrease the number. I think I'm going to try it out with 50. Click OK. And from here I'm going to select the lines and let's go to the object. Click on expand and click OK. And let's go and select all the composition with the text and the lines. And I'm going to bring it on the top. Press and hold Alt, drag it down. Also press and hold Shift. So this way we're going to create two duplicates. And I'm going to go and select the top one first. Press Shift plus M. Or you can go and select the Shape Builder tool here. And I'm going to zoom in, press and hold Alt and just drag it. And this is going to delete the unnecessary lines. I'm going to repeat the same step with the rest as well. Just draw on the letters and there you go. Great. So it should look something like this. And now I'm going to go to the second copy. Let's go and select all of it. Press Shift plus M again. And this time what I'm going to do is delete the external lines. So press and hold Shift plus Alt and I'm going to just select these areas and check this out. It is going to remove it instantly and I'm going to repeat the same steps here with the lines that are outside. And zoom out and we're going to need to select the text which is basically the fill. So I'm going to select it and remove it. All right, so now we're left with the strokes and I'm going to select both. Let's go to the align and I'm going to select the align bottom. And from here, we're going to go here to the stroke. I'm going to increase the weight and let's go to the stroke profile and I'm going to go and change it to width profile four. So take a look at that. Now we can see the letters in action. For example, you got these lines inverted here. All you need to do is just select it. As you can see, everything is grouped. Right click on group and I'm going to select these lines. All you need to do is go here to swap it and do the same with the rest. Actually, I'm just gonna delete these long lines because they don't look good. And I'm gonna select these ones and I'm gonna ungroup everything and bring these guys closer to each other. Great. Now I'm gonna select all of it. So let's go back to the stroke. And here you can activate the dashed line. And all you need to do is just increase this value at the dashed line and make the cap and the corner rounded. You can increase the weight and now I got this really cool dotted effect. So pretty much that's how I make this really cool holographic dotted text effect here in Illustrator. Thanks for watching.